My wife Shirley and I are just absolutely delighted that you guys could come to Abby and Cameron's wedding. You know, Bell is obviously an incredibly beautiful place. And, you know, we're going to thank God for creating these trees, the creek, mountains. I mean, it's unbelievable. Thank you guys so much for being here. Mom and Dad, Mom and Shirley. This is the wedding of our dreams. I mean, we really wanted to have something special for you guys to come out and see. And we really love it here. It's where we got engaged. We just, uh, we wanted everybody to come up and have a good time and hopefully everybody else will fall in love with this place and want to come back to it someday and it'll be just as special to you as it is to us. So we got engaged in Vail a year and a half ago. We were here skiing with the family and we had walked around all day and it was snowing and I had made the comment, oh, I, how great would it be if we got engaged today? And I had absolutely no idea that he had a ring and he had been hiding the ring in the freezer in his apartment for the last month. <laughs> so whenever we got engaged, I don't know how well you guys, you know, remember Abby is like a freaking, she's a sugar fiend, man. Like, you know Abby, man, she's always like chomping down on Sour Patch Kids or like, M&M's. So uh, I got a big deal of gumballs and I put the ring inside of it. And then we went over there by Gore Creek and she's like, why are we standing over here? You know, why are we doing this? And I, I handed her the gumballs. And so I saw in the gumballs, it said, just married Vail. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting engaged. Cameron, happy wedding day. I am so excited to marry you, finally. You truly are my best friend. I couldn't ask for a better person to share my life with. The past eight years with you have been so amazing. I cannot wait to grow old with you. I still get butterflies when a text or a call from my tiny comes up. Thank you for loving me. Unconditionally, I love you always and forever. 61816 will be one for the books. See you at the altar. Love your future wife. <laughs> oh man, you knew it was coming. Jamie and I have known Abby now for, I guess, eight years. Having her join our family and us joining theirs Jamie and I just really couldn't be happier. We've known Cameron a little longer. He's perfect. We get this text from Abby. Where Shirley and I were on vacation, I don't remember where. So we get this thing and it says, I'm in a relationship. And for the younger people, that meant a lot, but for Shirley and I, we're like, you know, back to going steady or going out or, you know, but relationships are like, holy crap, what is that, you know? So we, we literally hit the, the tarmac in Tulsa, laying that baby and we're like, oh, we're going to Norman tomorrow. <laughs> and so we're sitting in the restaurant, Cameron and Abby come walking across the parking lot. Shirley, I swear, looks out and goes, could this be the guy she's going to marry? Cam, when you first started dating Abby our freshman year of college, I knew you were something special when Abby made me call her with a fake emergency so that she could quickly run to my dorm room and check her makeup. I see the way you balance each other out and the many ways you complement each other. You're calm when Abby hears a noise and absolutely panics, thinking someone is about to abduct her. You make her laugh, you keep her on her toes. My sweet tiny tot, the day is finally here. I get to marry my best friend in the entire world. I can't wait to kiss you as my wife for the first time. I don't know if I will sleep in tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know if I will always have the same job. I don't know a great many things, but I know I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you. Let's have a blast tonight. Your groom, Cam. Abby, 
I remember the very first night I, I met you. It was just a party, you know. We were all partying, having a good time. And uh, I walk in, and it was like, <sighs> I mean, it was just like, yeah, she's a, yeah, she's hot. I want to talk to her. So I was just, hey, how you doing? What's your name? What, do you do? what do your parents do? My dad's a pharmaceutical rep. Well, my mom's a pharmaceutical rep. I bet my mom sells more drugs than your dad. <laughs> I remember leaving, you know, we kind of went our separate ways that night. I immediately go home, look her up on Facebook, friend requests, you know, send her a message. What are you doing tomorrow? You want to go eat lunch? You know, I mean, that was just like, I immediately knew I wanted to get to know her because she has the best sense of humor. You always laugh at my jokes, which makes me feel good. <laughs> You're so driven, and um, everything about you is just wonderful. Marriage is about finding the right person and then being the right person. I know you found each other. The rest is up to you. Cameron, take you, Abby, to be my wife, to be my wife. In the name of God, I, Abby, take you, Cameron, to be my husband, to be my husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better or worse, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow to you. This is my solemn vow to you. In the film Jerry Maguire, Tom Cruise tells Renee Zellweger, you complete me. Abby, you completed our family and made it perfect. My pride in having you as my sister is reflected in the fact that I named my firstborn daughter in honor of you. My life was quiet, I feel not silent until you brought the sound. I was so proud of you when you started telling us about your new boyfriend, Cameron, your freshman year at OU. I was over the moon proud of you when you accepted Cameron's proposal here in Vail. The Eli Young Band said it perfectly in their song. This Texas boy just might find something in that Oklahoma girl. Keeps getting better every day. Well, I live my life for this moment. And now that you, Cameron, and you, Abby, have given yourselves each to the other, I announce that you are husband and wife. And Cameron, you may now kiss your bride. years ago, our minister told Brian and me at our wedding to look at each other each night and say to each other, I would choose you all over again. This was great advice that I now pass on to you. Never forget the love you have for each other today. You two will now embark on your own adventure and it will be amazing and perfect in every way.
velvet dress and your hair's a mess is when you stole my heart and I won't forget. With my hands on your hips, they start to sail like ships that bring me closer, closer to your lips. May you be poor in misfortune, rich in blessings, slow to argue, quick to forgive, but rich or poor, quick or slow, may you know nothing but happiness. Cheers to Abby and Cameron.